When researching underlayments, you may notice some compression resistance numbers here on the label, and we're going to be talking about that today so you'll know what that means. This is the era of floating floors. Floating floors are really planks or tiles that interconnect to each other but are not attached to the subfloor. Examples of this are laminate flooring, engineered wood flooring, or vinyl planks. The joints between the planks or tiles are subject to downward force under heavy foot traffic, heavy furniture, appliances, carts, or what have you. So think of it as the joints of each plank gaining strength from the next connected plank, and so on, and so on, and so on. It's recommended that you select a suitable underlayment that provides firm support for the overlying floors, especially at the click together joints. If an underlayment is too soft or can be dented or compressed too easily, the flooring joints might come apart under such heavy weight. So look for an underlayment that resists compressive forces like normal traffic, enough to adequately support the floor and not squish or crush over time. Underlayments like MP Global's Quiet Walk test their products in a lab to determine how much pressure it takes to compress this product to half of its original thickness. So when you look at the label on QuietWalk and you see that label stating 85 PSI, it takes a lot of compressive force to crush it. Other foam products really just have a lower PSI, so they crush really, really easy. But QuietWalk's product at 85 PSI is a much denser product and when used under your floor just lasts longer and helps protect your investment. MP Global has a great product selection tool if you have questions about our products or how to use them. And as always, give us a like if you like the content that you've seen or you like this video.